James Bond girls, a 007 sisterhood, brought together for one very special photo shoot. And everyone was thrilled to be there until the reunion turned into a family quarrel. There was some rivalry and there might have been some bad blood. As Vanity Fair reunited Bond girls past and present for a photo shoot celebrating four decades of 007, the mood in the Los Angeles photo studio was darkened by a feud. Actress Jill St. John reportedly refused to pose with Lana Wood, a co-star in 1971's Diamonds of Forever. I think it was that Jill St. John was uncomfortable with the idea and um, you know, you have to respect that. There's a, a history there. That history goes back nearly 20 years. Jill's current husband, Robert Wagner, was then married to Lana's sister, Natalie Wood, who tragically drowned off Catalina Island in 1981. At the photo shoot, Jill's publicist reportedly insisted that the actresses not pose together and has been quoted as saying, I know the Wagner family would rather not have the current Mrs. Wagner shot with Natalie's sister. Jill and Lana were shot separately and their images were later combined by computer. A recent report claims the experience drove Lana to tears, but Vanity Fair insists that isn't true. And Lana Wood wasn't in tears. She was smiling and, and happy throughout um, the, her shoot. Jill and Lana were joined by 17 other Bond girls for the issue, from Maud Adams, who starred in 1974's The Man with the Golden Gun, to Shirley Eaton of 1964's Goldfinger, to Jane Seymour, who's still recognized for 73's Live and Let Die. And you think to yourself, God, you know, I'm 48 years old, so it's 28 years ago, and they still recognize me. That's pretty cool. But the quintessential Bond girl must be the first. Dr. knows Ursula Andress, who was the photo shoot's star attraction. When she walked into the room, Everyone just broke out into applause.